I've been making these videos for about 30 days, give or take, and I've gotten lots of phone calls with people asking me, okay, great, Springfield sounds great, or Nixa sounds great, etc. But what are the best neighborhoods? What are the best areas in your professional opinion? Well, today, that's what we're going to talk about. And make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel because I will also be uploading the top five cheapest neighborhoods for Springfield and of course, Nixa, Ozark, etc. So today, let's talk about my five favorite... This thing will not shut up. Let's talk about my top five favorite neighborhoods in Springfield, Missouri. My name is Grayson Roberts, a realtor and owner of Boss Properties, a local real estate company in the greater Springfield, Missouri area. And if you are looking to buy, sell, or invest with the absolute best, look no further than yours truly. It doesn't matter if you've got a budget to buy a $100,000 fixer upper, if you're going to sell a $10 million apartment complex, we do it all. I'm looking forward to meeting with you. But in the meantime, hey, maybe you're not even looking for real estate services. You just want to know the daggone best neighborhood in town. Well, that's what we're going to talk about. And these aren't in any real order because everything is subjective. There are other great neighborhoods in Springfield that I left out because I'm simply doing a top five, uh, but these are just kind of top of mind and, and what I think are the best. And that would be for a variety of reasons, depending on what you're looking for. So that's why it's not like five is the worst and number one is the best. It's all subjective and none of it's in any real order. Number one on my list, that's not the best neighborhood, but just number one on my list is Old Ivy. This is a high-end neighborhood, no doubt, with the median home price being just around $480,000. That's an average home price for this neighborhood than the entire city of Springfield, which is sitting about 260. All right, so I guess it's not quite the, but it's close. Listen, Old Ivy is old money, baby. You're driving through and you're gonna see some early 2000s convertible Mercedes right? It's just older folks with old money. Therefore, it's a high-end luxurious place to spend some time with mature trees and friendly neighbors. I also challenge you to drive the streets of Old Ivy and try to find a single home that is not all brick and stone on all four sides. That just kind of goes to show the attention to detail and the kind of, uh, you know, spare no expense ideology in constructing these luxurious homes. I don't know why I put a of weird pause between luxurious and homes. Um, I've also read and heard that everybody owns golf carts. Just a side note, but you know, I can't verify that without breaking and entering. Although with the median home price, you know, for that commission check on my end, hey, I'll put on a ski mask and go to town. Anyway, the HOA is $440 a year. That's old Ivy. Now here is a example listing, a home listed for sale right now that you could buy in this neighborhood. Kind of just gives you an idea of the types of homes and what they look like. And I just wanted to give you some sort of visual. I'll show you an overhead shot, but every neighborhood on this entire list just looks like roofs with trees. They all look the same, so I figured I'd just show you an actual listing. Number two is Hickory Hills, a golf course. So if you're a golfer, well, this actually makes sense to have a golf cart. Hickory Hills is without a doubt one of the nicest neighborhoods in Springfield. It's exclusive. It's a gated community. You got tennis courts, basketball courts, pool, clubhouse. You've got a friggin' golf course. I mean, talk... That's pretty bougie to live in a golf course neighborhood, you know? Hickory Hills boasts convenient locations to shopping, schools. The neighborhood has AT&T fiber. It's got Mediacom available. It's less than 15 minute drive to both Mercy and Cox hospitals. To be honest, I don't really know the median home price here, uh, but it's a lot. Here's an example listing at $800,000. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it is beautiful. It's a gorgeous house. Hickory Hills, there you have it, folks. If you've got money to burn and you want a nice property, consider Hickory Hills. Next is Phelps Grove. Phelps Grove is located near the Springfield Art Museum, if you know where that is, which I didn't. But now I know it's near Phelps Grove. In other words, it's near Midtown Springfield, Missouri. Very centrally located. But don't get me wrong, it's not in the all the noise of downtown. It's kind of feels tucked away, quiet, old, median level neighborhood that's safe, nice trees. I guess I like trees this episode. I don't know. But anyway, like I said, this isn't the highest in neighborhood, but that's why I put it on this list. And that's why it's great because not everybody needs a high end neighborhood. And just because a neighborhood doesn't have, you know, all bunch of half a million dollar over homes, it doesn't mean it's not a nice neighborhood. There are plenty of very nice neighborhoods 
quiet, safe parts of town where you'd feel comfortable walking your dog at 10 p.m. at night without being in the you know high hundreds of thousands closer to the millions price range. And that's why I put this neighborhood on my list. So if you're looking just for a good, regular neighborhood to rest your head at night, here's Phelps Grove. Now here is a listing listed at $250,000, kind of going off of, uh, you know, the whole idea that it's not the highest and there are much more expensive properties and there's probably, if I had to guess, not a whole lot cheaper. In fact, I think this is the cheapest listing in the neighborhood, uh, but there's also not a whole lot of listings right now. But hey, it's a good price and very centrally located. This is basically a neighborhood for everybody. Next is Emerald Park. Again, this is a neighborhood that has something in everybody's price range. This neighborhood has beautiful homes that line the street with some mature trees that kind of shade the whole community, which gives it a really homely and cozy feeling, which is a pretty big deal considering that you're going to live there. Emerald Park is located on the southeast side of Springfield. So you're much farther away from downtown and all the noise versus uh, Phelps Grove, but you're still within 10 minutes from anything you'd really want to do. Here is an example listing. Well, I guess it's not an example listing. It is a real listing. That's a kind of an example for a home for sale uh, in Emerald Park. This is listed at $549,000. Like I said, home for every price range in this neighborhood. Now, moving on, we've got Bentwood South. Bentwood South boasts pride of ownership. It's a mature and friendly neighborhood where, you know, you drive down the street and you wave to Susie walking her dog and you swerve to not hit Tommy on his tricycle and it's just a nice place to live. It's friendly and the neighbors look out for each other. The average home price in this neighborhood is about $325,000. So it sits in that perfect area of there are some homes for people who are maybe first time home buyers or lower budgets and there's some also high end stuff. And of course, middle of the road is the median. And just a side note, Brentwood is near one of my most favorite restaurants of all time, and that's Avanzari Italian Dining. Just love it. If you move to Brentwood, take me down. So do you remember how I was talking about how Emerald Park has all these nice trees? Well, yeah. With Brentwood, double it. I mean, these trees are huge. They completely shade the entire neighborhood, and it's just gorgeous. And it's also good news for your pocketbook when it comes to the hot summer months here in Springfield, when those big shaded trees keeps your house cool, which is lowering the air conditioning electricity bill. And hey, more money in your pocket, baby. Anyway, this is just one of my favorite places because the community is there. Nice tall trees that shade the whole neighborhood. It's just pretty in it. There's something for everybody in Brentwood, which is why it's on my list. So here's an example of a home for sale in Brentwood South neighborhood listed at $375,000. This is another nice property in the median price range. Now, moving on, last but certainly not least is Southern Hills. In fact, I heard the people from Southern Hills, when they come across someone from Hickory Hills, they shoot on sight. That is a joke. Anyway, Southern Hills is one of the oldest and most well-known neighborhoods in all of Springfield. Gaining popularity dating all the way back to the 1950s, it's still a thriving community and a high-end neighborhood that still has something for everybody, with most of the homes being updated to all the modern fixins with the old kind of classic mid 20th century architecture that still strings throughout the entire subdivision. So it's a really unique place to live. Lots of rich history with of course, big trees. I don't know why I'm talking about trees so much, but again, this is an older, safer, but yet modernized, not all of the listings, but some of the listing have been completely renovated homes in uh, Southern Hill. So I'm gonna show you a listing. This is in the Southern Hills neighborhood listed at $389,000, but it's a beautiful home. There you have it, folks. Hold your end of the deal up. If you got any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. If you'd like to view any properties or learn more about the areas or Nixa, Ozark, whatever you want, don't hesitate to reach out. Call or text any day of the week. I'm more than happy to help you out and I will see you in the next Boss Properties video.